Shall we bow in? Good morning. Today's menu for breakfast will be oatmeal, stewed fruit, and uh, tofu spinach in the third bowl. For lunch, we're going to be making brown rice and lentil soup. The tenzo is important because that's the position that is responsible for all the meals that will be provided. Uh, the third meal. Um, How many people are here today? What's there are served? 25. It's an important so part of the experience. Three servers. You're putting everything in three bowls. It um, is definitely a way so of expressing our practice, the, table, the food we eat and the way we eat it. If you guys could start chopping the fruit for breakfast, that would be great. Thank you very much for your help. I like to cook, Same and questions. so I thought here's a way that I could contribute to the Sangha. Um, but then I soon found out that cooking for a Zen center or cooking here is not like cooking anywhere else um, because you aren't just cooking, you're practicing zazen, only you're doing it with food. When I cook here, it's not about my preference or my tastes or really anyone's taste. It's about the food and being present with the ingredients. You don't get to add anything because you think it tastes particularly good this way or that way. There's no real preference um, for taste, but just preparing it as simply and well as possible. I had to kind of change the way that I cook a little bit, but I, I was glad that I had that experience because it taught me a lot about appreciating the ingredients, appreciating the food itself, and I gained much more insight on what it's like to really be present with food and with what we use to kind of nurture and sustain our lives. Dogen was very clear that the role of the Tenzo was not an administrative role. The Tenzo should be the one attending the rice. The Tenzo was the one that should wash the rice, should be attending the soup and helping to wash the vegetables. Okay. You didn't want to have a grain of rice left over but simply to be as present with the raw ingredients as possible. To pay attention fully to the food, to know exactly how much to cook, and would prepare just that much. And prepare it very simply. Um, there should be no extravagant flavoring or sauces. It's ideally just the plain food um, served in a way that is a greatest expression of itself, so the most flavorful um, without having to add anything to it. I'm much more present with the way I cook. I'm much more aware of the food that I cook with. I'm much more aware of my own experience while cooking. It's made me a lot more present with just whatever is in the moment. You have your choice of chopping celery, carrots, washing lettuce, or chopping And then on top of that, to take your practice and so directly be able to give it to others who then incorporate it into their practice and then watch the empty bowls of the, empty, the emptiness go back into the kitchen afterwards is... It's quite a delight, because when you cook for everyone and then eat the food, you're very intimately aware of exactly what's in the bowl. So it gives a sensitivity to my practice that I've really enjoyed. Taking a grain of rice, putting it in some water, adding a little heat, and then when it's just right, taking the lid off, stirring it. I feel like in some ways this practice is doing the same to me, cooking me very slowly. <laughs> oh, come in. <laughs> so, Jin Roshi, what did you think of the meal today? Well, how, how, what did you think? How did you feel about it? I thought it 
thought it was all right. I thought the salad was a little overdressed, but I tried a new vinaigrette and it was a heavier dressing, so. I thought it was good. Hmm? It tastes good to me. Good, okay, well, then it was fine. Yeah, I thought everything was good. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very You're much. Welcome. Thank you. Pleasure. Feeding the entire sangha is, is a, a real honor. So the more I give of myself, I find the more I get back.